Buckeyes play the midshipmen tomorrow. One Buckeye may be a little divided on his affiliation. As the football fever's Maria Durant found out, former Buckeye Mike Lanise has a love for not only the scarlet and gray, but for navy blue and gold, too. Striking for Lanise. A superb catch by Lanise. It's the 17-yard catch on the third down against Michigan that many Buckeye fans still remember. A play that helped the Bucks beat the Wolverines and gain Mike Lanise MVP back in 1984. Oh, dude, and gray. But while Lanise is a Buckeye through and through, he does have a fondness for Navy, blue, and gold. That's because he spent four years active duty in the Navy, commissioned on the ship, the USS Sterrett. It's an old steam ship, guided missile cruiser, sadly no longer with us. Um, decommissioned a long time ago. I caught up with Lanise at his workplace, Smart Crowds, an online business he just recently started. He tells me his decision to enlist in the Navy came after talking with former Columbus mayor and former Buckeye tight end, Greg Lashutka. And For a while I thought I was going to be a Marine and um, after talking to, to Greg extensively I said, you know what, if he's like that because of the Navy, I want to be like that too. But Lashutka, not the only Buckeye to inspire Lenice's naval aspirations. Woody Hayes was a former naval officer. He's the guy you got to hit him. Um, he was a commander in World War II, and he brought a lot of that Navy culture into the Ohio State program. He says that's how he was able to go from wearing a helmet to a sea cap so easily. He was a guy that I respected enormously. And as the Buckeyes take on the midshipmen, Lenny says, of course, he'll root for his alma mater to win. But he wants the players on the field to realize the type of men they are facing. Yeah, these are guys who might sail into harm's way. So he hopes everyone gives them the respect they deserve.